Hello and welcome once again to Loy Boy Cookery, where we try to make the impossible possible. I, we're going to make something incredibly deadly to our body and then something incredibly, well not incredibly, but at least a lot healthier. A lot more substance in the second one. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, and look who has joined us! Uh, the Shay! The Shay Boy. Return and build it. We are the Loy Boy. Shut up. <laughs> Back from the dead, like the last time. <laughs> yeah, I think the last time you were in a video, you died. You did die, yeah. So, uh, what is the plan for the healthy meal today? Grilled fish tacos. Not breaded, just plain fish. Mm, with okay. some, uh, with the coleslaw topping and some delicious tangy sauce. That sounds pretty good, actually. It does. And then for our deadly meal, we're gonna do the most loaded mac and cheese known to mankind. But just know that your arteries will be clogged immediately. Yep. Just upon sight. Once you see it. Just looking at it. You'll, yeah. <laughs> we might not survive today. And then again, we ate the Luther burger, so oh, we're we'll probably fine. Alright, onward to the prep. We're going to start with the bad thing. The mac and cheese. Uh, I wish that was an abnormal occurrence. <laughs> <laughs> so. Master Shay, yeah. I want you to shred all this cheese into this bowl. The whole thing, huh? The whole thing. Uh, and then we're gonna cut up this onion. We're actually gonna uh, almost caramelize this onion. So, oh. so what, what type of cheese do you want? You want it uh, fine or big? Okay. Just, just make Thank it you though. And then as you can see, we got some of that bacon over there from last time. That's super mm -hmm. thick cut bacon. Two seeds. Three. That's really thick actually. Now, I'm not one of those people that cares about uniformity, uh, as far as, like, onions and stuff like that. I just do what I want to deal with it. Uh, we're gonna cut, we're gonna cook these up first, then we're gonna put them in another bowl, and then we're gonna cook these up. Uh, save some of that bacon fat for later, just in case. Just a little drizzle at the end. Just a little drizzle. And, uh, oh, for the topping, we're actually gonna crush up some, uh, cheddar jalapeno... Cheetos. Cheetos. Uh, I would not use Flaming Hot Cheetos because I personally think that they don't really offer much as far as flavor. It's just spice. And you don't need that in life. You also want some flavor of that spice. I think Shay disagrees with you. <laughs> yeah, Based you just that disrespect. Day. I sense some disrespect. Mm. I want to have flavor with the spice. Mm. How are we looking over there, Master Shay? Uh, we're, we're almost done. Wow. We're almost. So Shay. Yo. How much of a fan of mac and cheese are you? Uh, I mean, I like it. I only eat it maybe three times a year. It's the first time I'm eating someone else's mac and cheese other than my grandma's. So, oh, wow, that was the terminology I never thought I'd have to hear in my entire life. Yeah. <laughs> you have to live up to some, uh, some G-Ma mac and cheese. Yeah. Oh, see. oh, no. I just thought about that for a second. Let's see. I'm trying to say it. <laughs> Try not to say anything I'm gonna regret later. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and cook these up. Uh, normally you would heat the oh, pan and put those in there. But whatever. These are not very strong, these are sweet. Wait, 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 wait. Why the heck did you just smell your fingers like that and care on nothing happened? For you? <laughs> so this is like I said last time, this is going to pretty much gonna pretty much uh, help caramelize it faster. So I'm not a professional cook by any means. I know enough to just get myself in trouble, as we all clearly see. How are you feeling with these moves? I'm I'm feeling observe. I've never seen you in this element. Okay, hello everyone. We're gonna start working on the fish tacos. So we have to do a little bit of preparation. For the coleslaw, that's pretty much all I can do ahead of time. Okay, so, gotta make this slow. So unfortunately, our beloved Yona has that gene where cilantro tastes like soap, so uh, this is our cilantro substitute. Which is parsley. fine. It'll be a It's just not quite the same. So, uh, Shade, you wanna come in here and uh, help me uh, roll some, some limes? Mm, that's an interesting. <laughs> Roll some limes. 
Yes. The coalition might come after you for that. Alright, and we're also going to throw in just some greens from these uh, green onions. Just a smidge. So the only, like, the only real wild card I'm throwing into this coleslaw is just a jalapeno pepper. I'll roll the bird. Let's continue. I'm going to cut a couple of these lines and I'll have you do some squeezing. We'll start with two lines. And just squeeze it right into that coleslaw. All right. Garlic. Garlic. Throw that garlic in. And since this is health food, allegedly, I'm going with a uh, light mayo. So we'll start there. And mix. Oh! We're not going to cook the steak in too crispy because we want it to kind of meld in with the mac and cheese. Uh, we got some other crispy stuff to go. <laughs> Y'all look like you're, a back, you're in a backyard of 12-year-olds. Uh, I'm going to cut that completely out of context. <laughs> I'll see you when I'm back over here somewhere because we got to clean that out a little bit. So stop following me. <laughs> I'll kill you. I'll never find your body. You're ruining the magic! Oh hey, um, so now we can all remember. Oh, this is what's gonna go on top of it, uh, which I think is a really good addition. Here we go. Get one of those out. Wow. So that being said, can one of you actually crush some of this so we can put it on top? Get on a shade. I knew you were going there. So how are we gonna do this? Get these muscles into work. Uh, so we just nothing, just you want me to go in there. Alright. Well, here we go. Wait, I was you tell me this is what I was looking for here. Ruined it. Alright, well while you're gonna do that, I'm gonna make my little taco sauce. Get sauce. All right, we're gonna make some taco sauce. Very uh, simple sauce. So mayonnaise is gonna be a little creamy. We don't need some lime here as well. So we gotta put some of this sauce in there. Can not destroy my bowls that have been in my pan for two Some garlic powder. I want it to be just barely running. Sounds like me at the top of Tuesday. Alright, right, everyone dip a finger. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Maybe a little more hot sauce with this. Honestly, zingy. I like it though. A little more Very sauce. Very limey. Alright, what you doing now, Zero Eyes? Oh, I'm just cutting up some of this bacon. Again, not perfect, just reasonable. I'm definitely gonna, I think I'm gonna cut up the onions a little bit more too now that they're cooked. Yeah, I can hear. Oh yeah, that one's straight fat. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, it is. Both of these have potential to be delicious. Honestly, they do. Yeah. I saw your other concoctions. Glad I joined in for this one. <laughs> no, the party cheese salad is the peak of that. Yeah. Me coming in this kitchen for the first time, that's the first thing I thought about. <laughs> party cheese salad. Yeah, I'm like, oh. Uh... Not a sponsor. You know what I am gonna add to that? It's not expired. Oh, I thought that was um, <laughs> I was like some caramel latte going there. on here. I thought that was chicken broth. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> I was like, Tazo, they make chicken broth? <laughs> <laughs> Just always salt your pasta. We'll go season salt there too. That's why not. This man loves his seasoned salt. I think it's really good. Okay, so now we just gotta wait for that to boil. We're gonna add in our 
Oya? I like how they call it a macaroni product. What does that mean? That does that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put a lid on it. Now we're just gonna wait for it to boil. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Cold water does not boil faster. That's a lie. That's just science. Logic. Do the thing. He makes me look like a fool every time. <laughs> You're the one that starts spitting off with lessons. <laughs> <laughs> you just give me you give me fuel. <laughs> Augustus Gloop. Augustus Gloop. At this point, I should know that entire song. I've seen that movie like six times this year. Why? Don't ask questions. I just watch that movie a lot. Is that your wife making the nails? Nope, that's me. Yeah. I asked him the same thing. You know what happened? I took it off Netflix. So I bought it. Wow. <laughs> You're a monster. I got a thing for Tim Burton movies. I don't know why. I'm clearly not the only wait, one. Wait, 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 wait. You're watching. Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, not Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Who are you? Augustus Gloop. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna be a boil over for show. You better turn that down. Nope, you're safe. Uh, we'll see after you put this in. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, it's gonna go over. Yes. <laughs> and I'm filming it, because I don't want it to happen now. There you go. Shade. Yeah. Can you cut this thing? Did you say no raisins? Yeah, I was gonna ask. Did you say raisins? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Who remember? puts raisins in pasta salad? White people. Yeah. I've never had that. That sounds awful. Ah! Oh no. Are we safe? We're good. Yeah, we're good. Right now I'm gonna add some butter into there, and then I'm gonna take it off the heat and start to gradually add the, the cheese. The cheese. Do you like those people that are like Wow, the earth is 2,021 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I think you guys know how this works. Here's those hatch green chilies, mild, just cuz. Add some flavor. Alright. It's a little big. That spice blend was paprika, cumin, cayenne powder, chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, salt. Thrown on the fish, and now we're just gonna cook it till it's done. You name it mustard? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. We ain't trying to have timey beef again. Uh, shout outs to the feast of Kraken. He may not be dead. But he's dead to us. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> 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 he might have killed Shane again. Yeah. Ah, oh, here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna put the cheese on there. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven with the lid on. That's hot. Uh, and then after however many minutes we're going to take it off and we're going to finish it off and do it off just so that the nice crisp layer on the top of the Cheetos. So, here we go. Alright, so here we are with our bountiful feast. We have our fish for our fish tacos. We got whatever this monstrosity <laughs> is. Um, so, Master, Master Shade, what do you want us to dine on first? Uh, that's looking more dessertish. This <laughs> sorta. So we'll, we'll go with the top. The tacos first. All right. Yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah. Show us how to do that. So tortilla first. As much fish as you want. Then we gotta do this. Put the coleslaw on there. Sauce. Sauce. And there is lime wedges, if you please. You can try it with or without. That's for you, Shade. Go oh. ahead. Well, oh, I appreciate that. Give that one a shot. 
Alright. Fish tacos. Fish tacos. Yeah. 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 Ding po. Ding po. Ding po. Real solid. Very good. A little spicy. I like that. Those jalapenos come pretty come through pretty well on the coleslaw. It's pretty tangy. Not the like I said, mind. young uphill battle. Yeah, I agree because this is a. Mm. I agree with it. I didn't expect this. <laughs> it's pretty tasty. It's really good, actually. Mm. It's gonna clear out my sinuses, that's for sure. But it's not like super spicy, so I think that's really good. Yeah. It's a nice little tingle. Might make some people a little bit, a little, a little sweat. But that's what I like. I like solid flavor. Just a little perspiration. That's, yeah, th I agree with that. You can't taste anything, it's just for the heat. I got a problem with that. Right. The flavor associated with it. That's, the flavor is hidden. Yeah, that's a good balance of heat and flavor. And just, all oh, right, very good. So, thanks boys. All right, and here Ooh, we go. Let's jump into it. Oh, okay. I will say, the smell of this mac and cheese, it does smell pretty nice. Ooh, it's dense. Oh, yeah. Ooh. There's a lot of flavor building going on in these yeah. mac and cheese as Here, well. There's a I'm lot of layers. Of you. There's a lot of layers. I'm imagining them as we speak. Yeah, yeah. probably going to look a lot like this. <laughs> Bottoms up, lads. Right. Right. Let's give the whole thing real quick, though. Ding, 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 Uh, Alright, I'm going, I'm going for it. It's not vile, so I'm going for another You know, it's not bad at all. It's really not. I thought it was going to be a lot more going on. Everything kind of blends in together. Yeah, it does. That was, that's yeah. very surprising. The hash chilies and the, the Cheetos. Perfect. Kind of surprised. I am too. Same here, actually. Because after having that, I was like, uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no, this is a uh, this is decent mac and cool. cheese. For yellowing it, for the record, he didn't follow the recipe. He just went for it. Yeah. I just did what it I turned out pretty well. <laughs> now the real question. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But I've had way worse than this. I can tell you that. I'll take that. Yeah, I agree. Normally, I don't even eat anyone. I'm still eating. So that means the fact, yeah, we're probably all going to finish a bowl of this, which is highly impressive for what this is. It's a monstrosity. <laughs> the only thing with this is, although it's pretty tasty, it is heavy. It is, and uh, yeah, that poop, the itis. But yeah, also the poop. Yeah, you're gonna have a ring of fire if you know what I mean. All right, so let's go by, let's go piece by piece then, and then we can we can award a winner. So appearance, just like last time. I'm gonna have to give it to the fish tacos. I concur. Look at what happened. I don't know if you guys can yeah. see this, but the pot got kind of charred, but everything underneath it. That's how mac and cheese is, though. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't give the charredness a detriment to the mac and cheese. I just think that everything in there, although flavor-wise, is pretty good. It's not like the most amazing thing to look at. <laughs> but the fish tacos, on the other hand, they're pretty. Very colorful. Yeah. There's a lot of different colors going on. Pleasing to the eyes. So, overall taste. I'm gonna give it to the mac and cheese. You give it to the mac? Yeah. All right. I'll say I'll say this, and I'm gonna let you decide because I'm going the opposite. I'm going the opposite direction. For me, I think the the fish tacos are more pleasing to my tongue. But again, that mac and cheese is surprisingly good. Like I almost ate my entire bowl. He gave me almost a full bowl of that. That was pretty darn good. The only thing is, it's, it's heavy. Yeah. Um, but the flavor is good. The taste is really good, surprisingly. But um, overall, I think I like the the layer of the fish tacos more. So I'm giving it to the fish tacos on the on the taste. Okay, so I do concur with Devin. I'm giving the slight edge in flavor to uh, the tacos. I'm gonna give that like a 9.5. And. Uh, Mac and cheese, I'm gonna give it 8.5 for me. 
That's a lot higher than I was expecting yeah. to happen. To be yeah. honest. And I, I, I'm surprised. I don't just be. I don't give out high ratings like this. Yeah. This. So that that was good. All right. Excessive guys. So let's talk about ease of creation then. Because there was a lot going on with this mac and cheese. That's the only thing about it. But there was also a lot. I almost died with yeah. the fish tacos. Oh, also true. <laughs> so, neither of these recipes are like the most simple of recipes. There are some layers because unless you go and just get like your pre-made coleslaw, that will cut down a lot of this prep by half because that's really where most of the work went into. There's there's ways you can cut corners on this too, actually. Um, well, we did cut corners. We just yeah. got frozen stuff. It's true. We got, we got frozen stuff. Um, you could do that. You could just say YOLO and get yourself like a thing of Stouffer's mac and cheese. Bake that and then mix all these fixings in there as well. That would cut a lot of corners. So there's ways you can do both of these with less steps. I'll give it a, I'll give it a, a square, even. I think they're pretty... They're, neither of them are like crazy difficult to make, but but they're both not like three ingredient meals. Yeah, um, that's a fact. I'm gonna give the slight edge to the mac. It's fair. All right, so we have to crown a winner now. So, Jonah, we'll start with you. Oh, Based off of everything. This is genuinely a tough one because the fish tacos were surprisingly good. I think that coleslaw could have had a little bit more um, oomph to it. Uh, maybe a little bit more, because I think some of those have like vinegar and stuff. I feel like that's what it's missing. It's like a vinegar punch to it. Um, but otherwise, it's still very good. Um, this stuff, a little limey, in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. For a quick, like, mayonnaise, hot sauce, and lime, obviously, not bad. Not bad at all. I thought it was really good. Uh, this monstrosity, however, I feel like everything just blended together way better than we thought it would. So I do definitely wasn't surprised. I do have to give the overall crown to that. Um, you will die <laughs> if you eat all that. But flavor-wise, especially with the Cheeto toppings, I I thought that's the winner. That is like the closest second I've ever had to say <laughs> in the two episodes that we've done. <laughs> so I'll go to myself then and we'll let uh, the shade crown the winner. So for me, I can kind of echo everything that you said. I think the sauce is good. However, I think pulling back a little bit on the lime and the coleslaw and, and putting in some like white wine vinegar or just a little bit of vinegar, I think would have brightened up a little bit and I agree. However, this, although it surprised me, the, the thing that I keep coming back to is what would I go out of my way to eat again? And just based off of the heaviness of this, this is something like at a potluck, I'm gonna grab a scoop of this, I'm gonna eat a little bit of at a potluck, but am I gonna make this for myself? Probably never again. Just because of the heaviness and, you know, it's a calorie bomb. You're gonna die if you eat too much of it. Yeah, so I will give the edge ever so slightly, I'm gonna give it to the fish on this. Yeah, these margins are so thin in my opinion that it's, it's crazy at how close they are. Yeah. All right, Shade. Okay, so I had very low expectations for this, <laughs> just because all the ingredients. I knew everything separately was it's great, but everything together, I'm like, ah, we'll see how this, how this goes. So uh, it surpassed my expectations, and it was great. Punched me in the mouth with all types of flavors. <laughs> uh, the consistency was a little. Different, yeah. but like I said, it, it tasted good. Uh, I gave it an 8.5 in flavor. Um, fish tacos, I already had a high expectations for this. It actually exceeded my expectations. Oh. And I didn't see anything wrong with the coleslaw, but that's just me. I'm, I don't know how coleslaw is supposed to taste. I don't eat coleslaw. What I look like. But anyways, I'm gonna give the slight edge to them tacos, bro. It's good stuff. Everything was good. Yeah. Well done. Chill it. Yeah. Tune in next time for whatever the heck else we're gonna make. If you have any ideas for unhealthy foods, by all means, send them to us. 
you have any ideas for healthy foods, again, by all means, send them to us. Uh, just remember, I'm allergic to fruits. That's pretty much it. Bye. Bye. <laughs>